All right, so I normally didn't want to make this video in the first place. Uh, I wanted to wait as far as I could to see if Nintendo had anything up their sleeves. And normally every time I post videos like this, we get an announcement literally a couple of days later. So I had to think about it because we might get an announcement next week now that I'm bringing this up. Hey, look, I'm doing you guys a favor. But anyways, yes, of course, we're talking about Nintendo and we're talking about their lack of information and just the fact that they're just not present in anything right now. They're not even speaking about any games they have coming out or anything about the company in general. And yes, we're getting some presentations from other companies within Nintendo, but it's not actually Nintendo's directs or any type of big presentation from the company itself and it's kind of worrisome and i just want to talk to you guys today about what's going on and if you can try to figure out what is happening with nintendo because i have never in my life seen them this quiet and that's exactly what i'm gonna start off with i've been a nintendo fan for a very long time since i was a kid and i can never remember any time there was just this big of a gap of quietness from nintendo Yes, there were still lots of things going on in the world a lot of the years, but there was never a period of time where Nintendo just was not speaking to anybody about any games coming out or anything like that. And it's very weird. It's very, very weird. And yes, we're going through a lot of stuff right now around the world, and I got that, and for the last couple of months we have been, so I didn't really expect anything from the company through those months. But with that said, we are now at a time and period here in June, almost in July, where things are nowhere near as scary or as bad as they were once before. The first thing I want to get out of the way is people just crying and complaining that, yes, there's the virus and stuff that's going on, but honestly and truthfully, that has nothing to do with anything nowadays. Nothing is being stopped because of this virus. Almost everything is open back up. Even amusement parks and zoos and movie theaters are opening back up. So I don't know how that's really affecting anybody. And I understand how people say Japanese culture is a lot different. They're used to face-to-face -to -face connection. But at this point in time, can we just keep using that excuse with the whole world kind of opening back up and going back to production? And one example of this is I just want to talk about almost every single company has had some type of presentation or at least announced something that was coming coming out of them. You know, for instance, we have Sony who just had their big presentation uh, showcasing the PS5 and upcoming games for this holiday season, which was pretty cool. And then obviously Microsoft with Xbox announced that they was going to have monthly presentations and they're having one next month in July showcasing more stuff about their console and more games. And to have monthly presentations showing off new stuff every month is exciting as heck for a Microsoft fan. Um, but then we move on to even companies with inside Nintendo, like I said, uh, such as the Pokemon company. Um, they or not necessarily in Nintendo, but you know what I mean. You know, they work affiliated with Nintendo. Um, but they had a presentation. And what's very interesting about this is normally they're called Pokemon Directs. And they would even be labeled as so. Um, but this one was not called the Pokemon Direct. This one's called, like, Pokemon Presentation. Um, a special Pokemon Presentation. And they've been having presentations. They had one in January, and they had one this week, and apparently they're having another one next week. So clearly, they're getting information out to their fans. They just announced Pokemon Snap, which got everybody extremely excited, and even Nintendo's stocks greatly rose just from that announcement alone. But also, Smash Brothers, once again, not necessarily a Nintendo Direct, but affiliated with Mr. Sakurai, and he's going to have his own presentation as well. Once again, not labeled a Direct, which I'll get to in a second. It's a presentation showing off the ARMS character here, June 22nd, which is just in about two to three days, depending on where you live, and that's pretty exciting. But once again, like I said, do you see the trend here? We had this happen in January, where we also got a presentation showing off Byleth. So I guess the question is, are we kind of rinsing and repeating? Lots of people thought once we got the Pokemon Direct and once we got the Smash Brothers character announcement that we would solely get a Nintendo Direct something, you know? And nothing ever came from Nintendo. This is once again repeating again. Yes, we got a mini direct or whatever that was that popped up that morning, but clearly it showed nothing of interest for new games. Nothing was new in that direct, and nothing was kind of exciting. It literally just showed us that we had an ARMS character coming, and that was it. So every single company out there seems like they're having something that there's something that they're using to showcase stuff. The only company I think that I have not seen much come from so far is Sega with Sonic. I know they pushed off their reveal of their next big Sonic game, and they really haven't shown off anything, but I think many people are expecting this next big Sonic game to not be until next year. They already said they're going to be spending a lot more times with these Sonic games to make sure that they're best that they can be, which should have been the case a long time ago. But anyways, yes, the only thing Sega actually revealed was a mini Game Gear console, which was like a little pocket console that you could carry with you 
nothing much but hey it's something from the company whereas nintendo really just is sitting on a rock yes they revealed paper mario the origami king and that was very interesting just to drop a game out of nowhere but at the same time it's not really as hype as having a presentation, you know, getting ready for some big game reveals, getting ready to hear all the big things coming out to the console in 2020 and beyond. And that's something that we're still missing from the company. And I, like I said, if they would just speak, they have to speak with their fans. The fact that they're not talking to anybody or even letting us know, maybe there's a problem that they're going through. Maybe things need a little bit more time. If they literally just came out and said, look, we have tons of games coming, but there's going to be more time put into these games. We need some time to put these things together for a presentation for you guys just wait a little bit longer wait a couple of months and we'll have something i think people would be a lot more relaxed to know that there's stuff coming but is there stuff coming yes i think we can all expect a big you know pile of games getting ready to be announced but why are we still waiting i mean it's already june almost july are there really any big games coming this year, this holiday season? Do we have a holiday game this year? Because don't you think they should start showcasing that game to get ready to get people hype? And that's why I'm getting a little bit nervous. I just don't know what's up with Nintendo, and I've never seen them go through a state like this, and it's actually really terrifying. I don't know what's going on. People all over their social media has been messaging them, please give us some information, please give us some content, and there's just nothing. There's nothing anywhere, and it's just kind of upsetting as a Nintendo fan as we still wait inevitably for a Nintendo Direct. And with the Smash character announced, who knows when we'll get a Direct now? This just gives them more time to sit back and wait at the end, and we could go through the whole month of July with nothing, and even August with nothing, so who knows? I'm still waiting, I think everybody's still waiting, and it's just gonna be a while. And it's kind of upsetting because you see Nintendo tweet things out, like new LEGO products, and they tweet out just little things, like Here, here's a free game on the eShop and stuff, and it's just like, it just feels like filler, you know, and you can feel it when they tweet it out, and nothing just feels the same anymore for Nintendo. It doesn't feel hype, there's nothing to be really excited for this year. Thankfully, we have Paper Mario coming up soon, but it's a very niche game. It has a small little group of its own fans, so I know we're just waiting on the next big game. And it's just like, when is it going to happen? Like I said, you have all of these other companies, at least they're speaking with their fans. They're letting them know what they can expect. They're giving out presentations, you know, giant presentations showing off games coming out, the consoles itself. And it's just like, Nintendo's just not caring. And it's so weird to me. Like I said, it just doesn't sit right. I have never seen Nintendo do this before. And I know we're in a new, weird, strange time, but I have never seen Nintendo go this route with just completely not talking to anybody. Literally, I cannot remember, really, honestly, cannot remember the last Nintendo Direct information. I think we got something with Xenoblade as a last announcement. And even the last Direct wasn't even that big. And, you know, like I said, we got Xenoblade, which I think was the only real game we got. You know, so seriously, it's probably been a year since last year's E3 since we got some new titles talked about, uh, since we got some Animal Crossing info, which was actually the spring of a year ago, so almost a year and a half ago. So man, we need some games. It is very dry right now on Nintendo's board, and thankfully we get a Smash character coming here um, Monday, probably going to drop the same day. But I, it's still not enough, man. We cannot just keep giving Smash characters and keep throwing out Pokemon announcements. I am so happy for you Pokemon fans. Uh, please, like seriously, I am, I am seriously happy for you guys to get all this content. At least the Pokemon company is seeing that they need to get some stuff out to their fans. You're talking about DLC all the time. You're D the DLC just dropped. I'm going to check it out and see how it is. Um, but there's a lot of stuff coming from Pokemon. And they're having, like I said, another direct or another announcement or presentation next week which is crazy that there's another one coming like i said i don't want to take anything away uh, from pokemon or anything but two it's like having a direct and then another direct the next week that's like a dream come true but man i don't know and that pretty much just signifies that there's not going to be a nintendo direct next week um, meaning the month of june like leaked and rumored before is not going to have any type of presentation from nintendo so as we move into the month of July, we once again sit at the doorstep of Paper Mario, the Origami King, which is going to be very exciting. But then it's just like, what's next? It's going to be another empty slate for Nintendo. And I don't know if they're just going to keep coming out, revealing one game at a time, which I don't really enjoy. I'd rather just sit during a presentation and see everything that's coming. Um, but they might just keep announcing one game at a time when it's time to announce them. And I don't know. I feel like we're getting a lot closer to August, so there's got to be some games coming. You know, there's got to be some games coming. And I'm optimistic still. You know, it's hard to be optimistic. I'm worried, but I'm optimistic. I'm a little bit 50-50. Um, there's got to be some stuff coming soon. 
And I think a lot of it is going to piggyback on Paper Mario. The fact that they just announced that game instead of putting it in a, in a direct was a very odd thing for Nintendo to do. And it did make me think to myself, if this wasn't in a Nintendo direct, there's a reason. And that reason is simply because there's not going to be one anytime soon uh, early enough for Paper Mario to be announced. They had to get Paper Mario out. They had to get it, you know, shown off to the public. You know, right now we're already just a month away from that game. So they had to hurry up and get it out, you know, get out some gameplay footage and everything. Uh, but maybe now, finally, it's getting closer to the time for a Nintendo Direct or some type of Nintendo presentation. But like I said earlier, it's very weird that the Pokemon company is not labeling their pres their presentations as uh, Pokemon Directs. Instead, they're just calling them Pokemon Presentations, which is very weird. I'm starting to think Nintendo's starting to do away with this Direct thing. And I don't know what's going on, but that would be a very sad day for sure. But once again, I'll leave it to you guys. What do you think Nintendo's doing? Do you think Nintendo's still holding out for a big presentation in July or maybe even August? Or do you think something's up? Do you think Nintendo's backtracking and only going to reveal a couple of new games for the rest of this year and then that's it? What in the world is the holiday game for this year and how are they going to compete with these other companies? I know Nintendo says they don't compete, but let's face it, you know, new consoles are coming out. And kids are going to want to buy new consoles over a Nintendo Switch, which has nothing in 2020. It's just the facts. It's just the way things work. It's the way life rolls. So what's going to happen? I don't know. But I want to be more optimistic. Hopefully next week we can get off to a good start and see some good things with this uh, new Smash character from ARMS. And hopefully some good things can happen from the company. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. Like I said, leave me your comments down below what you think. And I'll see you guys on the next one. See you guys.